Good morning everyone, I'm uh, TJ and today I'm going to show you the FEDEM user interface. Uh, this area is the graphics window where you can display your models, the finite element models, joints and all mechanical entities. You can also use it to display curves, graphs and as I will show you later, control systems. Uh, on the top here you have the main menu, a uh, pull down menu, and here you will find all FEDEM commands. Uh, under the main menu you will find the toolbars, and these toolbars work as they usually do in Windows. You can drag and drop them around, and uh, they contain the same commands, but you can put them on different places like here on the right hand side, the default settings is that you have access to all solvers here and also settings for the solvers and here you have also um, commands in order to delete uh, results because when you work in FEDEM and you do a simulation uh, the results, uh, the model will be locked by results. Uh, on the left side here you have two resource bars or browsers. It's the object browser and the results browser. Um, here you can see that you can expand all entities and you have access to all um, modeling uh, features in your mechanism. Uh, you can select uh, components from uh, this browser or you can click on them directly in the graphics window. So here I can click on the connecting rod, the blue one, and then you see that in this area, which we call the property editor, you can uh, manipulate the inputs. So this is a finite element model, the blue one. The mesh is not displayed, but it's a finite element model. And here you find information about uh, uh, the file it's imported from, which is a Nastran build data file, exported from NX. Uh, here you can see the mass and stiffness proportional damping and other properties. You can actually also scale the mass and the stiffness in this menu. You can also replace this part by clicking on the change button here. But now I have results and the model is locked so I can't do it. And here are some other tabs. Uh, these are for more advanced users, origin, it's uh, how you can position the co-rotated coordinate system. Uh, we have reduction options, which is um, related to the model reduction techniques in FEDEM, and some other advanced options here. So this is the property editor, and if you click on other types of entities, like a joint, you can uh, specify the degrees of freedom, uh, the rotational um, axis, if it's free, fixed, prescribed, or if it has a spring or a damper, and so on. And you can also release the set displacement, which is the axis which is working as the rotational axis. So in this area, you add all properties to the entities in, in the graphics window. Uh, this window here is quite nice. It's uh, We call it a topology browser. Um, if I click on for example this part here, the blue one, then I can see that um, for this part I have attached uh, a triad or different triads. Uh, here are two triads which are on this part and those are actually nodes that are retained after model reduction. So these are uh, what um, you can call the super nodes or external nodes. And since these nodes have um, local directions, because they are used in joints and forces, uh, we call them triads. So a triad is in FEDEM a super node with local directions. Uh, you can also see that to this model here I have attached some strain rosettes. And if I click on them I can preview them. Uh, I can also uh, specify that I actually want to display them on the model. So here the strain rosettes are not displayed and neither are the sensors, so I add them here in this general appearance uh, menu. And here are the 
the strain gauges or the sensors. And this is a strain gauge. Um, okay, so this is a topology editor. So if you want to check if this joint is attached to uh, rigid ground or another component, you can click on it. And then you can see here in this topology window uh, what entities this uh, joint is attached to. And when you click on these, they will be highlighted in the graphics window. Um, what you can do otherwise, uh, let's say here in the part browser, under parts you will find all the finite element models which are used. For example here, you can change and specify certain material properly properties like uh, fatigue uh, properties the SN curve used for that material and the surface treatment and so on there are some properties related to fatigue which you can manipulate here you can also uh, select the FEM model you can right click and here you have uh, different options like you can solve stresses straight code summary you can do stress analysis for single components or the complete assembly. You can also do a fatigue analysis based on strain rosettes and strain code summary. And you can sort them. Uh, another fine feature is this zoom, zoom to button. When you do it and you don't know where this entity is, you can use zoom to to orient it. Uh, in the graphics window, um, you can use the F1 button to panorate the model. So you keep uh, F1 pressed while you move the mouse. Uh, if you press F2, you can zoom. You press F2 and you move the mouse. F3 enables you to rotate the assembly. And F4, if you click on F4, press the button down, and you click on a point in this mechanism, uh, that point will be the new pivot point for rotational operations like this. So this is how you manipulate graphics. And if you have a three, mouse, uh, three button mouse, you can zoom by the scroll button as well. Depends on your setup. Uh, when you have performed the simulation, you can go to the results browser and here you can display animations um, or you can plot curves. So if you want to check, for example, crank speed, you can right click the curve or the graph. And under the graph, you have different curves. And when you press one curve, you can also manipulate the curve in different ways. You can set the appearance, you can specify the thickness and symbols and so on. But let's first display the curve. Uh, we press uh, show graph which is control G or I just push this command. And this is a long engine simulation. It's actually some results from a paper published. And here you see how this engine is spinning up to 9,000 RPM. And these graphs here uh, uh, show the results for the OAM motor versus a customized motor. And here I can zoom in and check the results. And here you see the dynamic performance at 9,000 RPMs. Uh, when you want, when you post-process uh, these curves, you can. Uh, show curve statistics, you can do, you can scale the curves, you can do other kinds of operations with them. C you can also do Fourier analysis and differentiation and integration of the curves and rainflow and, and fatigue based on the input data. Uh, you can also tile the windows so that you can see the, the curves and the mechanism in the same time. So I guess uh, this is pretty much the user interface and how you use it. And most of the commands are quite intuitive. Um, and yeah, I haven't shown you the control system editor. That's a unique feature with Fedem. Uh, this engine is initially um, spinned up from zero RPM to 
3000 RPM because this is a racing, a racing engine, so it doesn't actually run under 3000 RPMs. So here I'm using an electric uh, motor which delivers this uh, torque here, which is the started torque. And it comes from a control system that is modeled in a control editor. And here we can see it how it works. These are control systems. You can use this feature not only for control system, but you can use it to uh, calculate any kind of variable based on uh, the variables that you get from the solver. So here you see typically I have a reference speed and uh, I compare it with a measured speed from a tachometer and I use a PY controller and I have a model for the engine and uh, I added the motor capacity. And based on that, I calculate the uh, start the torque. So this is the control system editor. And s you can see you can display all entities. And in uh, the graphics or the control system editor, you use F1 to panorate and F2 to zoom. It's a 2D working environment, while this one is a 3D working environment. Uh, another feature which is nice to know about is the appearance button. And here you can specify that you want to show the lines surface. But you see it easily get, gets quite messy because you sometimes use very dense element models. So that pretty much uh, concludes my presentation from the graphics point of view, the user interface point of view. And um, uh, you just have to play with it, uh, with a model. And I have different tutorials that I will post, which shows you how to use this one to model practical examples or some smaller models as well. Okay, thanks for watching.